Absolutely, there's been a lot going on lately that kids are not able to do some of the things that they were um, looking forward to doing and planning to do, whether it's spring sports or dances or graduations. Um, and so there is a huge sense of disappointment that kids are experiencing right now. Um, and I think as a parent, the first thing is to recognize that it's okay for kids to be disappointed about that, um, to validate those feelings for them and to, um, to give them a, a space to be able to express that. Um, one of the good skills in life is to be able to recognize and express disappointment and be able to move through it. So first, letting kids um, express that disappointment and to be able to, um, as a parent, even join them in, in saying, yes, I'm, I'm with you on that. It is disappointing, it is upsetting um, that we're not able to participate in that event. Um, kids can have a range of um, emotions from that. It can be sadness and disappointment, but for some kids that'll come out in anger. And so recognizing you may see some irritability from kids um, because they're upset about the changes that are coming. As a parent, it's important that we model appropriate ways for how to handle that um, and to show kids that while we can be sad and disappointed, we still can, um, can treat other people respectfully and we can find uh, positive outlets for our emotions. Um, if you see that your child is, have, is struggling in ex expressing those feelings, trying to direct them in more positive and helpful ways. Um, at some point, it's important for kids to have a little bit of perspective on things. Um, it's hard when you're little, and um, even as a teenager, you're looking forward to certain things and not able to do that. So the most important step is validating the feeling, but at some point, being able to come back and, and, and express and help kids to understand that this, um, while it may feel like the end of the world, isn't the end of the world and there will be other opportunities and ways to be able to, to celebrate and to do things. Um, and then I think trying to help kids find ways to um, still be able to do something. They can't go to prom, but what else can they do to have a good time um, to celebrate? They might not be able to do the birthday celebration the way that it was planned, but what else can be done to celebrate? Um, so find other ways to be able to, um, to engage in some of those activities if possible. I think it's important when you go into um, talking with kids about this that you help them to see that we don't really know how long it's going to be, so um, not set up an expectation that by May things are going to be back to normal. Um, and so kids can maybe begin to prepare for the fact that it could be longer than, than we've initially thought. Um, and, and making sure that, that parents and, and dealing with that are taking care of themselves, that you have appropriate places to voice your um, your worries and your concerns and those don't come out towards your children. Um, taking care of yourself in terms of eating right and getting exercise and sleep and um, trying to um, just make sure that your own mental health and anxiety level is managed.